Welcome back to Let's Cash More Mash. My name's Tom. And I'm Mike. And today, Mystery Mash Monday. So what do we do for Mystery Mash Monday? That's usually when I unleash my wife on the many, many bottles we have on the other side of the room. Uh, so she grabs it. It's unopened. So we try to guess price. We try to guess proof. We try to guess type. We try to guess uh, you know, whether we think it's finished or not. And ultimately, we grade it before we even know what it is. So Ooh, that's not bad. It's got a little tweak to it. But it has a pretty yeah. dominant I'm nose. To, trying to think, what's your tweak? Like I'm getting a hint of like a fruit. It, like I'm almost in the in the grapey land. Let me take a sip. Of it. Well, it's not bad. No, the taste is different than. It's sweet the nose. though. There is a, a sweetness. A little to bit this. in the beginning, especially. It has a little light oak finish. I'm not seeing that. I don't have. I only took a tiny sip. I, I, I didn't too, get like I, a mad. I, I didn't get I a mad thinking, change in flavor. We only had a little little bottle, but I was like, yeah. oh. She actually worst case gave we us can, a generous She usually does, today. and then yeah. we can find something later. But yeah, I can go with your light fruit though in the nose. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like a fruit, and and, and I'm I'm almost like with the grapevines. Maybe it's that time <laughs> of the year. I, I am getting. It, like it a, is kind of. I can go with that light. Yeah. But it's, it's not strong, but it's definitely a no, fruity presence. And it was super sweet, though. Like, it had a nice sugary presence when I took the first sip. It wasn't set. even really overpowering and, and proof either, mm -mm. it didn't seem like. Mm -mm. That was the first sip of the day, so I went at it gentle. Tasted the, you know, that one has a little bit more. I rolled that one, I, though. I, <laughs> I was just going to say, it, it is seemed to be carrying a little bit mm -hmm. better than the first sip. But I did have a baby, baby sip on the first one. And I, <coughs> I did down. the same thing. I took a little tiny sip just in case it hit me wrong. But well, that one's actually pretty good. I have no idea where we are at this one. It's not. It's not coming out with anything like like where where I think I should be. You know, oh, this is a brown form, and or, oh, this is a. You no, know, it is the nose trace. is really. It's kind of traditional though. It's, fruity, it's not. I don't really get a heavy caramel. I'm not getting a nut. I'm not getting a nut either. Oh, I thought you said no, nut. No, no fruity. Like nut. Not, yeah. It's kind of fruity. That's it's not yeah. it's not really anything else in the nose. No, no, I, I get your caramel. So you could do like a caramel coated grape or an apple even. I could go with an apple with it. Because it's a light fruit. It's not it's strong. It's not like like a, it's dipped in a wine or anything. I think it's just a like just a taste, you know. So that's the question. With that with that predominance of fruit, would there be would it be a secondary barrel? It's not tasting like that to me, but who who am I? I know, but we, we, yeah, lately that's been kicking our ass. No, I know. Lately, we we did better actually a, way back in the day with like Angels Envy and those than we have been with the most With the fruit, ones. We, you know why? Because sometimes it's not a predominant, because this kind of tastes like it's part of the whiskey. It doesn't taste like it's extra. I'm not really getting an oaky finish. Like, I'm mm -hmm. not. So the flavor I get in the beginning, it, it little caramel, and it stays that way. It doesn't, It this is like what I... What I like to say, like a one note Charlie, where you're not really getting, there's not a mad wave. And it, when, no. I, when I say fruit, it's not like when I'm getting banana out of, out of a Jack Daniels. It's kind of like just a, a, like a hint of a fruit. I, but I, I do get More the sweetness to start with it. I get the with sweetness. A, with a light oak finish. It's not, it's not crazy. It so it's not, not an oak. but there's, there's no really, I'm not getting like a, it's not even like a maple syrup sweetness. It's mm. just kind of like a sugary sweetness on your initial mm -hmm. tongue. And then, hmm. I, I'm I'm gonna think I'm thinking we're in bourbon. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I, I'll say bourbon. I'll say it's not a, it's not very complex though. No, that's 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 my one thing with that. Like, <coughs> so I'm, I'm still not trying expecting to it. Proof. I'm I'm gonna say unfinished. I left my drink on the other side of the room, dummy. Um. The only thing is making me tweak a little bit on the unfinished is the nose is. Yeah. Well, you don't have to agree with me. 
I'm going to say unpunished because I, 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 I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's it is. But it's not in the taste. I'm trying to get really proof get it. though because it, yeah, it, that's kicking my ass too. It's got it's got a nice little pop rocky when you swish it around, but it it's not drinking hot, but it's not drinking not hot either. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm I'm thinking I'm probably like 94, mm-hmm. 96. That's where you are. You're at 100. I don't think we're at 100. If we're at 100, then that sweetness is definitely killing it. That's what I'm. I, I think I think we're at 100. I think I think this is a. If this is 100, then I'm way off today. It could be the hot well, one I, I had this morning. I guess I'm not way off. Of, I said 96, so yeah. or 94. I'm going. I'll stay with the initial 94. I, I think we're upwards of 100. This might even be one of them because it actually it's actually giving me a hug. Which is weird, and that again could be the hot burn that I, I just just took tums for because uh, <laughs> I'm not I'm not and I just took a a decent amount that time, and I, it's not settling like a crazy bang. So, so what what do you think? What would you pay for this? Just drinking it blind like this? What what, what do you think of price wise? I'm getting I mean, spoiled because we're getting some banging it, bottles it, it, for sure. Well, money. That's a, so that I'm, I'm going to judge it off of that. I'm, I'm thinking if, if I was wandering around a store, this this could be at like fifty nine ninety nine. Would I be happy with that? No. Probably. What would you like to pay? Drinking this? The, the only this is what I'd like this to is pay? good. No, like like like. What do you think this should be sold for? Uh, well, then bear then, in mind that we paid eighty nine dollars for the for the four roses over there. That's what that, the, that that's what I'm kind so, of judging this off. Uh, if of. you're gonna go that route, what I would like to pay? I mean, I don't think this is anything worth more than thirty nine ninety nine. See, and and that's kind of where I, I I'm trying to go. What off we of. actually paid is probably fifty nine ninety nine. That would but, probably be the sad part. Which I wouldn't be horrible at fifty nine ninety nine. No, if it's over that, then yeah. Because I'm looking at this saying, okay, rare Italy. breed we can get for like right around fifty bucks, and I think that's more complex, right. and more proof, and a better flavor of everything about it. You know what I mean? For fifty, so I was gonna say max for me would be like forty nine ninety nine. If it's sub that, I feel good about it. If it's a little over that, it's just not bringing me on a ride. You know, I, th- th- no, that no, fruit was I, more in a smell. I'm not really getting I'm, I'm, it in the flavor. You get the sugary sweetness, but it kind of just gives you that generic bourbon esque flavor. I'm gonna think. I'm bad. gonna say this is it. This this is finished in another barrel because this nose is like very fruity. Okay. And then, I don't think it's. I don't think it's a high proof. I think I'm gonna say it's around 94 and. If it is, it's drinking soft. We can say that. Well, then correct. But that would be a plus, mm-hmm. knowing after the fact, because then, then that would make it that would make it that much better. Um, great, because it is blind uh, grade. I'm not overly impressed with this, honestly. It's not like crushing me to be like, super happiness. So yeah, I'm. I'm B B plus probably. No, I was B minus. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I'm like, it's it's okay. There's nothing it, it wrong is, with it. It is. It is. And that. B minus is a solid grade. Right. It's just not. It's not anything. When I'm thinking, there's so many things we've had recently, and we've been on a tear no, lately. I agree. But I, I'm just thinking. I, I mean, I just I just killed the bottle last night of of, of uh, the Jack Daniels bonded. There's a lot of bottles over there, by the way. But the Jack Daniels Bonded gave me a better ride than this. No, I, at, at, what is it, $38 you can get it for, or $42 you can get that for now? And I, you got a way more I'm complex not, I'm not ride. disappointed with, yeah. the, with the B minus. I was just, yeah. it, it just, it has a super fruity nose. That's like the biggest characteristic that I get out of this. And then you're right, the ride is. It, it's, uh, yeah, it's, again, it's okay. It's solid. B minus yeah, is. is a solid grade. It, it is. It's just it's it's not it's if not this anywhere is, near. If this is eighty, then it's no. definitely going to be there. Well, no, then then <laughs> it warrants its its price tag. But it, I mean, it's okay. But it's not like wow, this is great. And there it is. It's the uncle. We haven't done one of these. Let me find my notes. No, we we'll be back in one. one second. Someone said this is a sample. No. Yes. No. All right. So we are back. All right, so this one is the Uncle Nearest 1884 Small Batch Whiskey. It comes in, Mike absolutely nailed this. I got to give credit where credit is due on this one. So other than his, his, his fruity it presence fruity that he had, note, though. it is. It, it it is. That's, I told you, that, but it, it tasted it like it, it was in the whiskey. I said yeah. it didn't taste it. Yeah, I just so, coming in, in the nose. But. Right. So this comes in at 93 proof, which you said 94, you all over it. We got it for $46.99. It's non-age stated, but it is rumored to be four to five year old whiskey. It's age distilled at the nearest green distillery in Shelbyville, Tennessee. And they used to source their whiskey, but now, according to the internet, and they would not lie, and actually it says it on a bottle too, it is 100% their own whiskey now. So, 
And if you read the back, it talks about how she, they, they were the first African American uh, distill. I believe they were from Jim Beam, right? Didn't they work at, at he worked originally? at Jack, I think. Was it Jack? I believe it was Jack. It was he, one of he them. He worked for okay. He it, worked for Jack. It was. I knew and it was one of the big distillers. This is his great 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 granddaughter. Or something, yeah, something like that. Right. That actually redid supposedly yeah. everything that he did. Yeah. So. So again, we, we we were discussing it when I was looking through my notes. I mean, this is again. I said it. It's good. B minus is a good score. Mm. But uh, like, the more I keep drinking it, if I had my Evan Williams bottle in bond, I'd like to put it up against. It. I, oh, he said the fighting clock because that's always his go-to. Mm. I, it, you know, it's okay. Just just it, no complexity it okay. to it, it. That's it. So and, for the forty nine ninety nine, that's the that's the price tag. When you can get Evan Williams or the Fighting Clock sub twenty dollars. I think Steve's dad would like this. It's it's fairly it's an easy drinker. It is. No, and it's he didn't like all that roughness and all that other different mm -hmm. shit. So I think he might. I, and I know you said he's graduated. A little he's graduated bit, to that. He's a rye guy now. <laughs> this actually does have a nice rye spice. I don't have a mash bill for this, but there is a rye spice that it pops did have on a little here. bit when yeah. you when you swish it. It does. It's, yeah. I mean, I, I think where we put it though is, is going to be fine. I, it'll, no, it's one hundred percent. We nail it. Actually, I don't know. It, yeah, I don't know if it's going to crush or win even in there. It'll probably hold its own. I don't know if it's going to be the standout. In at a, a B in minus, it, it, it might hold itself. Yeah, well. yeah, it will never get to them. But like, <laughs> but no. But this would be good to throw back in blinds, even at, if I get down to the ninety-three brewers. You know what I mean? Every oh, once in yeah, a while, yeah, we yeah, do yeah, throw yeah, them yeah. in there. Yep. In, uh, if I don't kill it beforehand, I'll definitely do that. So, <laughs> it is an easy drinker. And that's just it. it. It's, I mean, it's okay. Nah, yeah. My my only my only gripe would be the price tag, considering when you so many, like, Old Forest one hundred or Old Forest eighty six would smash it. That that's that's what we I think. always go back to that one because it it's twenty five dollars. You can't beat it. I'm not yeah. arguing it either. I mean, Hence why, even before I even knew even, it. You can even go to Makers. Even before before I even knew what it was, if I put the, the bonded that I just killed last night up against this, that, that would give me way yeah, better yeah. ride than yeah. what this does. And that's all. It's probably I mean, almost the same price, only it, that's I, 700 Yeah, those are 700s, Sons of bitches. I think. <laughs> will, they, will they have leaders now, though? They supposedly, yeah. I, and I do randomly see them, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. The but nose is very. Again, this is super fruity nose. It it is. It does have a nice. It does have a nice. It, it, I could I could be Carmel Apple. I could go with that one now because the more it sits in there, I'm kind of I'm kind of because I was more of a grape in the beginning. Crazy apple. I mean crazy caramel. I'm yeah. not. I'm but kind of more fruit. there is there is a there's a sugary sweetness on top. There of is that, right. You want to go candy front. apple then? God, I haven't had one of them. Remember when I used to make them? Oh uh, well, yo, yeah, you, you were there too, dipping yeah. them in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That part I don't remember. I just remember eating it, breaking my teeth because that stuff was so hot. But yeah, we all looked like clowns. Yeah, by the time we were big done with red, that little... red face afterwards. So between well, that and pomegranates, we were like right. Red face little goofballs. Not me. I wouldn't eat a pomegranate. I can't stand them things. My worst fruit. You did. I know, but I don't have to like them. So, well, there you go. This is the Uncle Nearest 1884 small batch uh, whiskey. Again, another good pick by her. This has been yeah. in the sack for quite some time yeah, over you, there. So you definitely keep we'd, we'd keep moving that to the back because it's not like it's nothing new it, about know, it. This is almost back into that little seven sins we did. I look at this like every time when I shop, and I never picked one up. Yeah, it took forever. Thank I God, because I think I we got think two it, in the sack. I think it took to Danny to send out a one of his a, a sample. Right, and then. It was like, oh, we're going to have to try to yell this. Well, that's like, I, you know what? You keep saying that. I don't think he sent an Uncle Nearest. He sent a Remus, a George Remus. We'll have to look. If I remember. I'll have to go back and look. Thank you, everybody, who participates yes, anyways. Thank but you. I don't. I, I think this might be the first one we've done. But I know we wanted to do them because of the different things. But whether it is or not, I don't know. It, there's so many whiskeys that come through here. But yeah. that being said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Spend less. Drink more. Cheers. Cheers.